Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and stat. Today we will discuss about how you can apply the chi-square test for the population variance. We will describe it in again in the three-step rule. Myself, Dr. Gurk, you can simply follow my telegram link, this is the barcode of this. Otherwise, you can simply follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Harish Gurk, for finding the various videos. What is the brief idea about the chi-square test? So, we all know that the square of the standard normal variate is called as the chi-square variate with the one degree of freedom. Mathematically, if any of the random variable x follows the normal distribution, then this is called as the standard normal variate with the mean 0 and the variance is 1. Then the square of this z, that is the square of this z is called as the chi-square variate with 1 degree of freedom. We can also generalize this to the n number of the variables. If x i follows the normal distribution with the mean mu i and the variance sigma i square, then the a chi-square defined like this way is again a chi-square variate with the n degree of freedom. Now corresponding to this chi-square variate, we can define the probability density function which is defined like here. Clearly says that when you consider uh, exponential, con exponential distribution is a special case of this uh, and you can easily find that where gamma is the gamma function. Also we know that the mean variance mode and skewness is totally dependent on the degree of freedom clearly says that mean is mean and variance is that is a twice of them are the relation between them. Now there are the many application of the chi-square distribution like of the goodness of it, attributes, population variance and the proportions. The first two we already discussed in our last two lectures which is available at my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Kar. Now in this lecture we will see how you can test whether the population has a specific variance or not. So first of all, uh, we can briefly recall what is the chi-square of the population variance. So uh, our target is to check or to test whether the normal, whether the population sample is taken from the normal population having the specific variance sigma naught square or not. How you can do that? If I consider the null hypothesis as this and alternative hypothesis as of this. Why it's a greater than? Because since it's a variance, it is always be a one tail. So remember that it's always be a one tail so that's why it is my greater than. Also we all know that sigma square can't be negative so that's why this can never be not equal to. Now consider the random samples which are taken from the given populations then the test statistics of here. You can clearly say that this number is nothing but my chi square that is my sample mean over variance. So this is you can say I can return like here. What is that? This will follow the chi square distribution with the n minus 1 degree of freedom. If you look about this numerator side, we all know that from the sample variance, we can compute them as n s square. This is another form of the chi-square variance. Once we know the chi-square distribution from here, there is a sampling test, then we can make a decision based on this normal distribution. What is that? This is nothing but my critical value. How you can find the critical value? This is taken from the degree of freedom n minus 1 at the level of significance alpha. Whatever the com result computed from this equation number 1, we will check whether it lies in the accepted region or the rejected region. We can reject it at 0 whenever chi-square is lies in this, whenever this, the value of the chi-square from the equation 1 lies in this shaded portion, we will reject it at 0. Otherwise, we will fail to reject it at 0. Remember, this is the value which are taken from the tabular form. That's why this is called as the tabulated value. This is the standard chi-square distribution table. You can take it from any of the standard statistics books or you can take it from the Google. Page. So how you can read this table? So for example, how you can find this value? So you can see this is the degree of freedom. Look about the 19. The level of significance is my 0 0.05. So the corresponding value is my here. So this is my 30.144. Similarly, you can find for the 9 degree of freedom with the level of significance at here. Now in order to apply this chi-square test, we will describe the three-step rule. Step number one is we define the hypothesis, we compute this one and finally conclusion. So remember this is always h0 is my, h0 and h1 are always my here. You can compute the chi-square in the step number two where s square is nothing but my sample variance which can be computed by using here. And finally we can draw this graph, we can take this value from the table 
and we can check whether the chi square is greater than of this value then we can reject it otherwise we fail to reject it so remember uh, this step number 2 and this three step rule is applicable only when the population is my normal whenever population is not normal then it is not applicable to apply this step step rule then we will apply for some other testing of hypothesis on the other end when your sample size is very large then say whenever the sample size is greater than 30 that is whenever n is greater than 30 then instead of finding the critical value by using this here we will apply the feature distribution test which is approximation to the chi square what is that that is two times of the chi square will follows the normal distribution with mean and variance so therefore once is a large sample we can apply the chi uh, we will apply the z test that is x here minus of mean divided by variance now based on this z test we can apply this again z test rule we will apply check whether it's a one tail or the two tail and then the level of significance are here so we use the standard tables for the 5 percentage level of significance the value is 9.56 2.33 for the 1 percentage level of significance it is for the one tail or the two tail you can check for this corresponding values so let's say we will describe this 7 to 8 examples so that you may be able to understand clearly so we will apply the three step rule so just firstly read this statement a random sample of size is 20 so n is my 20 taken from the normal population the sample standard deviation that is the smallest is given to 6 test the hypothesis that the population standard deviation is my 9 or not so we can define the null hypothesis population standard deviation is 9 or greater than that. now we can apply this step number 2 we have given of this we can substitute the value at here so s square is my 6 square and sigma is always taken from the h 0 so we can substitute this value we can get as here now we can apply the step number 3 we will draw this graph degree of freedom is my n minus 1 that is here so this value we can compute from the statistics table from this called as the 19 degree of freedom with the help here so now you can compare this value whether this value lies here this value lies in somewhere here so you can see this is the critical value this is the critical value taken from this uh, chi square distribution table now since this value is less than of here so what is the meaning of that we will accept it h0 so that is we will fail to reject it h0 so that means this is accepted hence the population standard deviation may be considered as the 9 at 5 percent is level of significance look at question number second a sample of the 20 observation n is 20 a sample has the standard deviation 3.72 is it compatible with the hypothesis that the sample is mean is variance is 4.35 so again your now in this case this the variance is given to you so it's a sigma square last example is the standard deviation again we will apply the step number 2 here we can we have the n we have the s we have the sigma square is 4.35 so we can substitute here so what is the step number 3 is what is the degree of freedom so degree of freedom is n minus 1 that is 20 minus 1 is 19 take the tabular value of the 19 from the table that value is come to be here look about that 63.62 lies now in this time is a rejected portion so we can reject it h0 so it means this is rejected hence h1 is accepted so it means we can conclude that random sample is definitely not from the population variance of 4.35 look about the another one so test the hypothesis this is my sigma that is a population variance is given to you this is a smallest that is called as the sample variance this is a sample variance is given to you and n is my 51 so look at that this is greater than 30 that is called as the last sample So firstly, we will define the h zero and h one, which is eight and greater than eight. We define the value of this. We know the value of the s. We know the n, and we know the sigma. So we can substitute here. We will get this value. Now, since n is my greater than thirty, so we can't apply this uh, uh, critical value of this. So we will apply the Fisher normal approximation that is here. So we can substitute this value. What is the chi square? Chi square is nothing but seventy nine point six nine. What is the n? N is my fifty one minus of 
1. So after the calculation, you will get the answer as here. Now since it is my one tail, so we can compute the value of 5 percentage level is my 1.96. Or if you consider as for the two tail, you can write as a 1.96. For the one tail, you can consider as the 1.645 for the one tail. So since this number, again, if you look about this number, this is my shaded portion. So this is my 1.645 for the one tail. 2.57 is lies in shaded portion. So we will reject it at 0. So once it is a rejected at 0, you can say it's a 1.645 for the one tail. It's a 1.645 for the one tail. We rejected at 0. It means this is my accepted. That is the sample cannot be regarded from the population of standard deviation. 8 is my here. Look at the another one. Uh, weight of the 10 kg weight of the 10 students are given to be here can you say the variance of the distribution from which the above samples are taken is equal to 20 that is a variance is equal to 20 this is your target so what is that this is my h0 because equality appears so what is the h1 is because it can never be less than 0 so it can never be here so we can write like this way how you define the step number two we can compute here but in this case the sample variance is unknown to you sigma is given to you but we have to find the s so this is the formula for the s for that we need the sample mean we can write here how you find the sample mean this is the value of the x we can compute the total so after total we can get as a mean as 47 so once you can get as 47 we can substitute here this is 38 minus 47 whole square this is my minus 7 square this is my minus of 2 square and then so on so after solving you will get as 280 so once you will get as a 280 you can substitute here and is my 10 so it's my 28 so now you know the value of the s square so you can substitute the value of the s square as a 28 sigma square is my 20 always from the h0 so you can see this is my 40. Now again n is, is, is a small number so you can compute this normal graph. So this is a chi-square value, this is a critical value at the degree of freedom 9. Look about this 14, 14 lies somewhere here. So since 14 is less than of this, so we may accept it at 0. So once you accept it at 0, it means the sample we conclude the variance of the distribution is in the population of 20 kg is the correct hypothesis. Look at the another example. A sample of the 15 observations. So n is my 15. Sample standard deviation is come to be 6.4. Does this agree with the hypothesis? The population standard deviation, that is the sigma, is 5 or not? And the population is given to you not. That's again very simple. So you can start from this step 1 and step 2. We can find the value of this here. This is the n s square upon sigma square. We all know what is the n. This is the s and sigma is my 5. We can substitute the value here. You will get s this value. What is the degree of freedom? Degree of freedom is n minus 1. So this is a 15 minus 1 is 14. So we need the value of the 14 degree of freedom of the chi square. Level of significance is 0 0.05. So this come to be here now you can see 24 point lies somewhere in this rejected portion so we can reject it at 0 so that is once at 0 is rejected so we can say do you agree so we we is not agree so that means the hypothesis is significantly different from this given observation at the 5 percentage level Okay, look at one more example. So again, these are some given to you. You have to check the population variance. Sigma square is 32 or not. This is your target. You can define the H0 and H1 here. We can define the value of the chi square because we need the value of the S. S is not given to you. We can compute like here. So what, how you can compute? We need the sample mean. So we can find the sample mean. That is the total of this. I can compute the total. So we can get as a 693, so the mean is my here. We can compute these values by using the x bar and xi minus x bar. 
we will get this number as of here so s square is my this we can substitute all this value here this is my s square this is my sigma square n is my 10 so we can get this answer as 10 what is the degree of freedom that's a 9 we compute this value as a 9 okay now check whether 7.3 7.3 lies somewhere in the accepted portion so we can say we may accept it at 0 or we fail to reject it at 0 that means this is accepted so we conclude variance of the random is taken from the population variance look at the last example a random sample of the size 20 so sample is a 20 mean that is a x bar is given to you 40 sample variance that is a small s square is 25 is given to you test the hypothesis the population standard deviation that is a sigma is my 8 or not this is your target because our target is to make the decision on the variance so that's why chi square is applicable here so we can substitute this value we know the value of the s square we know the n we know the sigma we can substitute all value here we will get as 7.81 now the degree of freedom is my n minus 1 that's a 19 so since 7.81 lies less than of this 30 that is accepted reason we fail to reject it h 0 hence we can conclude h 0 is accepted so that whether the test is significant so that the test is not significant because the h 0 is equality is there so this is the way you can solve this chi square variant test of the population variance i hope you can simply learn in a very simple manner you can follow my youtube channel dr harishkar where you can find all these testing with the help of the three simple three step rule is there i hope you can like share and comment this video you can share with your friends so that they can learn it easy method till then best of luck students happy learning